Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm trying this in another setting because I figured you'd be able to see it better in the sunlight because my light makes everything orange and you can actually see the colors right now. But today we're going to be learning the Chinese staircase bracelet. This is one of my first attempts, so as you can see there's a bit of mistakes. But one done correctly, one, one little thing will wrap around like this. Some people call it a lighthouse bracelet, but it's really called Chinese staircase in terms of friendship bracelets. So you're going to need four strings about 25 to 36 inches long. 36. Well, it depends on the size of your wrist. I usually do about 26 inches, but just for this video, I cut them about 30. Um, the colors, you need four colors if I didn't say that already. So... I'm using black, purple, white, and pink. I don't know why my camera doesn't like to focus. Like, there it kind of focuses a little bit there. Alright, so to start, you're going to want to tie your double knot two inches from the top. It doesn't have to be exactly two inches. You don't have to, like, sit there and measure, oh my god, it's not two inches, as long as it's enough to tie. Okay, so there's my knot. And now you're going to clip it under your clipboard or wherever you decide to keep it down and hold it down. Now, instead of spreading them all out like we did for the other bracelet, you're going to pull out one color that you want to start with. I want to start with pink. And you're going to leave these guys bunched together. So basically, all you need to do for this bracelet is I have my pink string out. You're going to make forward knots around all of them. So first of all, think of a number. I usually do like 15, but you can do 10. I'm going to do 10 for the purpose of this video. So you're going to make 10 forward knots around all these strings at one time. And you want to pull them super tight. So here's one, four, two, make your four. Three, make your four. Don't pull too tight to the point where it hurts your fingers. But four, make a four. Five, make a four. Six, make a four. Seven, make a four. Eight, make your four. Nine, make another four. And ten. And I'm going to fix this because it's not clipped tightly. Alright, so we're going to do it again because you can't really tell right now, but it should wrap around. Um, so you put the pink back and you pull out another color. So I'm going to do white. So you do 10 again, or you can change the numbers up if you want. You can do um, your pink and black for 10, and your, I mean your pink and um, purple for 10, and your white and black for 15. I don't really care. I'm just going to keep it all 10. 1. Make your 4 again. 2. Make a 4. 3. Make your 4. Four, make your four. Five, make a four. Six, make your four. Seven, make your four. Eight, make your four. Nine, Make your four and ten. So now to continue wrapping around, and you keep going until you've used all of your colors. So I'm going to go again, and I'm just going to do this quietly because you guys pretty much get it. Um, well, you should get it if you don't. Just watch the beginning again, but it's really simple. All you do is you make forward nods. It's nothing really complicated. So I'm just going to do it my quick way just to get it going.
These bracelets shouldn't take you too long, by the way. Alright, so this is one completed set, and I'm going to show you what it looks like if you have to take off my camera. So that's what it looks like, and if you can see, it wraps around. Sorry, there's like dog hair on my bracelet because I have a black dog, so yeah, it's very stiff, so you can use it as like a bookmark or something, or you can wear it as an anklet, or you can wear it on your wrist, wherever, but see, it wraps around and it looks really cool. So thanks for watching, I'm sorry this tutorial may have been a little long for you guys, but thanks for watching. Leave me feedback and requests in the comments below. Bye!